When I hear the name Cybertruck, the words that come to my mind are divisive, different, strange, polarizing, but I never thought I'd be saying this word best seller guys my name is don you're watching the bitter car guy like the video subscribe to the channel let me know what your words are when you hear the name cybertruck put it in the comments down below and let's talk about this so when the cybertruck was introduced there were a lot of promises made. We were told it would have a range of 500 miles, it would cost around $60,000, it would come off-road capable with lockers, and it should be able to do crab walk. A lot of those promises were not kept. But the version of the Cybertruck that was released to the public had a range of around 320 miles, cost almost $100,000, weighed about 7,000 pounds, didn't have the lockers. We don't know if it can float well on water, and I wouldn't trust it to see if it is bulletproof as Elon Musk had said it would be. But none of that is stopping people from buying the Cybertruck. By every estimate, it seems that Tesla is selling around 3,000 of these Cybertrucks per month, meaning they're moving about 9,000 Cybertrucks per quarter, which makes it the best-selling $100,000 vehicle for the last few months, for the month of July, and now we're in the month of August, and it's looking like it's gonna be a sales leader for the next month as well. So if you're gonna be spending that much money, first of all, would you spend $100,000 on a vehicle? If you are spending $100,000 on a vehicle, will it be a Cybertruck? Would you buy a Cybertruck? Go in the comments, let me know, and I wanna see your comments for real. Would you buy a Cybertruck? And would you pay $100,000 for a Cybertruck? Now for some folks, buying a Cybertruck might be worth it. I mean, $100,000 for some people might be pocket change, for others, it's a lot of money. But if you are spending $100,000 on a vehicle, then let's look at some of the options that are out there in the marketplace. I have a list, we're gonna go through the list. You're gonna tell me in the comments down below which car you would prefer to buy if you had 100,000 to spend on the cars. So let's just jump right into my list. So first on my list is the GMC Hummer EV, similar to the Tesla Cybertruck. This is an all electric battery vehicle. It starts at $112,000 and it makes around 570 horsepower. The next on my list is the Maserati Gran Turismo. This is a two door, four seater coupe. Starts around $160,000. It uses a twin turbocharged Natuno V6 engine that puts out around 542 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. Coming in from BMW, I have a number of options. I have two options from BMW. So the first is the BMW 7 Series. This one is the gas engine vehicle. It starts around 98,000 base, but once you start adding options, it's gonna go over $100,000. The base model has a turbocharged inline six that makes around 375 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque, and it can be optioned with a huge screen for the rear passenger. Next on the list from BMW is an all-electric battery version of the 7 Series. It's called the i7. It starts at $107,000. It makes 449 horsepower, 549 pound-feet of torque, and has a range of around 321 miles. From Mercedes-Benz, we have the S-Class. It starts around $118,000. You can get it with a variety of turbocharged, supercharged engines. It starts with a V6 engine in the base model. It makes 442 horsepower and 313 pound-feet of torque in the S-Class. Also from Mercedes, we have the EQS, which is the battery version of the S-Class. This starts at around $106,000, and as I said, it is battery. It makes about 649 horsepower, 700 pound-feet of torque, and has a range of around 285 miles before you need to recharge. Another option for Mercedes is the Mercedes-Benz SL, all-new redesigned SL. This is a two-door coupe, four seats. It comes with a v turbocharged V8, making around 469 horsepower, 516 pound-feet of torque. 
Another German sedan that we have on the list is the Audi A8, all-wheel drive, 3.3-liter turbocharged mild hybrid V6, starts at around $91,000. It makes around 335 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque, and it does come standard all-wheel drive. Also from Audi, we have the e-tron, which is an electric vehicle. Starts at $108,000. It is a battery EV, as I said. It makes 591 horsepower, 612 pound-feet of torque, and around 232 miles of range. From Land Rover, you have the Range Rover that starts at $109,000. You can get it with a twin turbo V8 making around 523 horsepower and it can seat anywhere from five to seven passengers. And then of course from Porsche, you have the 911 Carrera, the base model Porsche is now a six-figure car. The base model 911 starts at $114,000. You get this with a three-liter twin-turbo engine. It's a flat-six engine that makes around 379 horsepower. So the question a lot of people are asking is, why are so many people buying the Cybertruck if it did not deliver on the promises that were originally planned for this truck? Well. There are a number of reasons. One, if you are an, a person that likes to adopt technology at your first adopter or an early adopter as they call it, this might be a product for you. It does come with a lot of tech and everyone knows that Tesla makes solid tech. They've had solid tech from the inception of the Model S through the Model 3, the Y, the X, and now in the Tesla Cybertruck. You know, they have pretty much the same thing. They've set a lot of industry standards in terms of over-the-air updates and other technologies in their truck. They've got fly-by-wire steering, brakes, all the fancy stuff in the Cybertruck. If you like tech, the Cybertruck is going to have all of that for you. The next is being a very ostentatious looking truck, it gets you a lot of attention. So let's say you have a business and you need to do a lot of word of mouth advertising. Let's say you do roofing or you're a real estate agent. This is going to be perfect. People are going to see this truck everywhere because it looks like nothing on the road. So it might be worth the while buying this truck now that it's not plentiful. I mean, they've sold like no more than 100,000 of these, which is a drop in the bucket compared to the no total number of cars we sell in the US. So if you have a business that requires exposure, buying a Cybertruck, slapping some decals or some stickers or some kind of advertising on it is going to get you the eyeballs. So those are some of the reasons why people are buying the Cybertruck. Is that a reason why you would buy it? Would you buy the Cybertruck? Leave me some comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name is Don, you're watching The Bitter Car Guy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.